solve the equation 2x squared plus 3x is equal to 5 by completing the square method. So we have the equation 2x squared plus 3x is equal to 5. The first thing always is to make the coefficient of x squared 1. So we'll have that by dividing all through by 2. That is the coefficient of x squared here. So that should give us x squared plus 3 over 2x is equal to 5 over 2. The next thing is to complete the square on the left hand side. Now remember, if you have a quadratic expression ax squared plus bx plus c, such that the coefficient of x squared is 1, that is if a is 1, then we'll have this relation. First we have the relation ac is equal to b over 2 squared, that is this coefficients are related by this equation and we are letting a to be 1 because in our equation here a is 1 so that c becomes b over 2 squared that is a is 1 1 times c is c so applying this to this equation x squared plus 3 over 2x remember we are applying this to find the constant term c and by doing that, we are completing the square. So we are going to add the third term, which is c, and c is obtained as b over 2. For this case, b is 3 over 2. 3 over 2 divided by 2, that is just similar to multiplying by a half. So 3 over 2 times a half is 3 over 4. But remember, we square, just as we have here. And then on the right-hand side, we'll have 5 over 2, but add the same thing we've added on the left hand side that is 3 over 4 squared now here we can simplify it further so we have x squared plus 3 over 2x plus 9 over 16 and on the right hand side we are going to have 5 over 2 plus 9 over 16 now this should further give us 49 over 16. So long as the expression is a perfect square, we can always factorize it in a simple way. So if you have the expression as x squared plus bx plus c and it is a perfect square, we can always factorize it straight away by having x followed by the sign between these two terms, which is positive for this case, and then b over 2, b divided by 2. Now this, if squared, gives us this. So if you square this, you get back to the expression. So on the left-hand side, we are going to apply that. We are going to say x plus a half b. b is 3 over 2. So a half 3 over 2 is 3 over 4. And then we square. If you square this, you will get back to this expression. So that is for the left hand side and then the right hand side we have 49 over 16. And because we need to know the value of x, we will find the square root of both sides. So when you find the square root of both sides, we are going to have the square root of x plus 3 over 4 squared. And on the right hand side, when you find the square root, it's going to be plus or minus the square root of 49 over 16 this is 9 and left hand side we have x plus 3 over 4 and then on the right hand side we are going to have 7 over 4 and that is plus or minus so in order to determine x we are going to have 3 over 4 crossing and it will become negative so we have negative 3 over 4 plus or minus 7 over 4 so the first value of x will become, first value of x will obtain when we add, so we have addition and subtraction. So when we add the 2, we are going to have, that is 7 over 4 minus 3 over 4, and that is 4 over 4, which is 1. Or, when we use subtraction here, we are going to have negative 3 over 4 minus 7 over 4, 
that is x becomes negative 10 over 4 negative 10 over 4 is negative 2.5 and these are the solutions to the problem i want to thank you for watching bye